Creating table with a responsive site designer. Quite simple. We use Flexbox feature or Flexbox layout feature within responsive site designer to create table. I have built one simple table here and we are going to build this one from scratch. In order to start from scratch, I'm going to delete this row and we will start from a blank project. I add new row and within this row we have a column of 12 spans. Okay? For this column I'm going to give a class of flex container. In order to use flex feature or flexbox, le flexbox layout feature uh, we have to keep in our mind there is two main important elements in flexbox layout. One is flexbox container, which is behave as a parent, and the second one is flex items that will behave as a child of the container. So now we have uh, our container, flex container, the parent of par the parent element of our flex layout. All right. Now we go add three elements of container elements here I have the first element of flex, uh, first flex item I'm going to give a class of flex item okay then I'm going to duplicate them into we have three columns and for each I'm going to apply since we have same class for these three items I'm going to have give a border All right. right now we have our borders so we back to our column up this here which is behave as a parent of this child column flex container from the display in position we display as a flex now our flex is flex child are flexible and in display as in this uh, inline all right so since still we have flex item uh, as a container three containers i select one of them select flex item which is not necessary but when we have multi classes you have to do that because i'm going to add class CSS style for this class I select it and I give a growth 1 flex growth 1 this is makes all the container is in three size same size so in order to make this first container you know, or increase its width compared to these two bigger than these two we add flex growth oops I'm sorry I forgot to add a class I will add a class for this flex item 1 okay then I select flex item 1 I'm going to growth double size of its original size if I add 3 it will grow its three size of its own original size. Fourth is increased its width. Okay. Now let's go add our item into these containers. I am going to add flex. Uh, I'm going to add paragraph in the first container, and for these two, I'm going to add icons. First icon, second icon. Okay, for this going to get icon of check mark. Check. Maybe I'm going to add this. And color I'm going to make it something orange. And for this as well. Orange. And going to give a icon 
cross. Maybe this cross too. Okay, it's not really important what icon really we give here, but in your those it's not really re real design. Anyway, so now we have another child inside these containers. So in order to center this by using flex feature layout, so now our containers behaves as a child as a parents of these items inside these containers. So we select the container. I select the container. And I'm going to select uh, flex item here, and I'm going to add in position. I'm going to display as flex, and then in justify, I'm going to add center. This horizontally centers our item inside the container, and in order to center it vertically. I'm going to give a center to item itself. All right, so we apply same thing for these two icons as well. I'm going to select the container and the display. I'm going to give a flex and justify center and in items centers. All right. That's how simple it is to build a table within a responsive site designer.